Hi, and welcome, and what's up, and welcome to my Rogue One, a Star Wars Story DVD review, and Rogue One, a Star Wars Story came out on DVD today, April 4th, 2017, and it is directed by Garrett Edward, the same guy that directed the 2014 Godzilla, okay? So, Garrett Edwards is the same guy that directed the 2014 Godzilla. Okay? Now, I just came back from Walmart and I still had the bag and my receipt from Walmart. Because I just came back from Walmart buying the DVD of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Okay? It rated PG-13 for, th for thinner thinking of Top by violent and action. And it said from Luca Lucasfilm come an effort adventure world going a dollar story in a period of great conflict, a group of unlike heroes led by Gene Esto, a darling fugitive, and a rebel spy band together on a desperate mission to steal the plan to the Death Star, the Empire ultimate wep weapon of destruction. Okay? Now uh uh, this is the first, uh, this is the first, uh, spin-off Star Wars movie. It's not an episode movie, it's not episode 8, it's not episode 4, anything like that. And, um, and this movie does get, get a sequel, and the sequel has already been made, and I'll tell you what the sequel is. And the sequel has been made. And the sequel already been made, and the sequel, and the movie does get a sequel. The sequel, been the sequel movie is called New Hope. See? If you don't get that joke, then I'm sorry. Cause that's the sequel to that movie. Cause, um, because right when the movie ends, you can stick in, uh, New Hope, and. It, it does so good, you can stick in New Hope and watch it, because this movie uh, does so good tie in with New Hope, okay? And we know the best, the spoiler alert I'm about to say is, the best thing in this movie, is at the end, the two things at the end, and, and uh, Darth Vader killing the grapple with his lightsaber, and the CGI, um, a Prince of Leia, which is the late Carrie Fisher. And some some say, well, what what about Carrie Fisher being in episode uh, eight and nine? Well, I don't know about uh, what they're gonna do about Carrie Fisher in episode I mean Prince Leia being in episode nine, but they already confirmed that she fin finished filming her theme before she died, and uh, before she died last year last year in December, so she they already confirmed that she's gonna be in. Uh, Episode 8. And then I taking her thing out. So she always film, film, film her thing before she died. So her thing, she always had thing in episode 8. So next, so, so later this year, when we, uh, in December, when we gonna see, uh, The Last Jedi, we'll see Prince of, uh, General Leia. Okay? So we'll see Carrie Fisher in episode 8, The Last Jedi. But we don't know if, uh, what they're gonna do about, uh, 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 K. Fisher in episode 9, Prince of General Leia in episode 9. Now, this movie is a good movie. Uh, this movie tells the story the 20 year, 20 year period gap in between episode 3 and episode 4. Okay? And I like this movie. I wasn't a big fan of Fort Away because I thought it was another remake or reboot of uh, New Hope. But this was a good movie. I like it. And that's why I bought it. And I'm looking forward to uh, the last, the last, the night, not because, not anything else, because all, all the only reason I'm looking forward to the last night is because of, uh, of the guy that played Luke Skywalker. And I hope he does some good, awesome fight theme with the lightsaber and kick coloring butt. And this movie was awesome. And I'm looking forward to 2018 Han Solo movie. And this movie was awesome. I know some people said, well, this movie was annoying. Because you got that thing in the movie where the guy goes, I'm on one with the force, the force with me. Well, although the movie was good, 
<laughs> Some people think, well, you're not better than the fourth rate. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, I like it better than the fourth rate. I give the movie a B plus. It, it wasn't a masterpiece as, uh, you know, I'd say, uh, Return of the Jedi or The Emperor Strike Back. Cause, you know, this movie not not not, not a classic and uh, as the original trilogy, I give it that. But like I said, I'll give it a B play. And it's a good movie. And and I recommend checking it out. Cause you can watch it and watch the awesome uh uh, uh Darth Vader of uh, uh killing the rebel at the end of the movie. And and when some people saw that thing, they're like, We need we need a Darth Vader movie. Yeah? So um, I get the movie a B plus, and like I said again, it rated PG thirteen, directed by Gary Edwards, and oh, it's one hundred and thirty three minutes. I forgot to mention that. Um, I like the movie. I like the movie. I will say it again before I'm done. I, I like the movie better than uh, uh, Fourth to Wait, and I wasn't a fan of Episode Seven. Hopefully, when I go see uh, the last, the last Jedi in the December. Hopefully, I will like episode 8 better than episode 7 because of the guy that played Luke Skywalker. Okay? But this movie, I liked it. That's why I bought it. And hopefully, I can like more Star Wars movies com coming year to come. Okay? But this is a good movie. And, uh, Gary Edwards did good. And, and this movie, before I'm done, this movie, what this movie is about, I'll sum it up. It tells us the story of the 20 year uh, period between episode 3 and episode 4. Because, because between episode 3 and episode 4 was a 20 year, uh, year period gap. And this movie explained that. Okay? And so I, like, I love this movie. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, go buy this. Add it to your Star Wars movie collection. And be looking forward to this year's Black Jedi movie. And the 2018 The Han Solo movie. And... Um, thank you for watching, and if you're a Star Wars movie fan, if you haven't seen that movie, I recommend you go check it out, highly recommend checking it out, because you got an awesome, uh, Darth Vader thing in the movie, and, I, like I said, I give that movie a B plus, and, it's an awesome thing. The main, probably the main reason, I'll say it again before I'm done, the main reason I like the movie, because of the, of the Darth Vader, the Darth Vader thing at the end, and the CGI, uh, punch the layer at the end, and I get the movie a B plus. And if you, if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. And if you're a super Star Wars fan, go buy it for your Star Wars collection. And thank you for watching.